Hi, I'm Melissa. And, and I'm Mel. Girl, let me tell you, I only had maybe a little less than half of that drink. When you're drinking, you just gotta drink more. <laughs> I am a strongly worded email. Actually, that feels in line, though. That is not that, true. No, listen, and every now and again, when somebody get out of line, you just yell, pop the truck. <laughs> I'm the juice to her gin. Did we hit record? Is it working? Is it on? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gin and Juice Podcast. My name is Melissa. My name is Mail. And I was about to say we're the Tipsy Sisters because I had this idea, <laughs> but I will tell you guys that in a minute. We were tipsy yesterday. All weekend we were tipsy. Yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> we're real life sisters. We get on this podcast every single week and talk about what we want to talk about. Okay, so welcome. Welcome to the fold. Welcome to the chaos. Welcome to the stirs, the shot glasses. I don't know what we call the, <laughs> the people. The stirs. That the stirs. No, you said it. Oh, this made me laugh. <laughs> I don't know what we call our I don't know if we've decided on a name fully. Um, but welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you once, we welcome you twice, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's that, that's where you went? On a yeah. podcast called Gin and Juice? That's where you went? Because Jesus turned water to wine, so I feel like he He didn't turn it to gin. Uh, but when he turned the tables <laughs> over, he felt like gin. Hello. He was in there mad at the people. He was. He was having a gin moment. He okay, was. that wasn't wine. <laughs> uh welcome, welcome, welcome. We want to thank our sponsors. Um, I think it's Factor. It is. It's Factor and Better Help. Thank you uh, for sponsoring today's episode. All right, we're going to start with a, st- a segment we call uh, Long Story Short, and we just kind of talk about some things that are happening. Really, nothing has happened, <laughs> but we were just having a conversation about like house cleaning. What do you want to talk about, Mel? You want me to talk about my thing? Kev's mm-hmm. birthday? Okay. Yes. We were having tons of conversations. <laughs> so Kev uh, had his 40. 40- first birthday on the first of may Mm -hmm. so um he's officially an old man and when i turn 41 then we're moving the goalposts about what's considered old so this will last (laughs) the next of that you know six seven weeks um and yes and isaiah went to prom thank you for that for reminding me about what happened in my life uh kev turned 41 we had a really fun the mixers thank you we had a really fun um game night and a bunch of people came over it was a lot of fun we played in between which if you haven't played it is so much fun so essentially the rules of the game are thus Okay, you have a dealer and then you have all of the people around that are playing. Everyone gets dealt two cards. The goal is to have the dealer. Well, yes, you want the dealer to then deal another card to the third card. And that card needs to fall in between the two cards that you have in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Um, and then you're betting. So you pay a dollar to play. And then you bet more money, you wager what you think your the chances of the third card falling in between the two cards in front of you. It sounds like gambling. It is gambling. Mm-hmm. This game is so much fun. Mm. And you will, I Gamblers. literally have told everybody, <laughs> you will lose a thousand dollars one dollar at a time which is why i haven't played and will not be playing uh, you shouldn't Mm-mm. i thought you played for some reason nope. greg played greg played greg and played. the first time we played at your house he played and i'm not playing that i don't believe in that it's... i no, i don't have time to lose my money that's real i re- if i'm gonna lose it it better be in vegas at a table it's not gonna be at your house yes i'm not doing that it is so <laughs> they go there yelling much. and screaming it, it gets Mm-mm. very intense nope very quickly because you know ace is one and then it goes all the way up so the highest car like the highest range you can have is from ace to jack then king right king thank you from ace to king right so that means every card is available to you in fact i was dealt that this one i got out i only had like seven dollars and i was like oh i'm betting betting all the money i got i got seven dollars i'm betting it and he gave me a king see because the king is not in between the the ace ace and and the the king king. i lost yeah see no and i said i had the full spread available to me and that's what you got and i lost i'm out that's a sign I'm out, okay? And Chance always plays dealer. And so we have these games where somebody is always the person. Like when we play Werewolf, Tony Baker is always the moderator. Yeah, yeah. When we play in between, Chance is always the the dealer. Like that's just how it works because they become part of the game. Like their personality becomes part of the game. And Chance be making up rules 
and See. and believes in being tipped, and it is hysterical. That's hilarious. Okay? Him he, being tipped. Yes, he'd be dealer. like, rule number one. Tip the dealer. Tip the dealer. <laughs> That's great. Rule number one. <laughs> listen to the dealer. Wow. Rule number one, and it is so funny. Like, it really, truly is a good time. Like, you really need someone that's going to be, like, all in on the game and, like, do all the things they need to understand the ins and the outs and yada, yada, yada. It's just a lot of fun. So we played that. Isaiah went to um, prom. Listen, first of all, he was so adorable. He was just so cute. His blue was so nice. He was so in this little blue suit. I was like, Isaiah, are you going with the girl? He was like, no. I was like, okay, bet. What color do you want to wear? He was like, whatever you think looks good. First of all, I'm like, this is an answer for me. (laughs) Okay. Free range. Because now I got free range. And then I was stressed because I was like, what color? What color? Because now the world is available to me. Like, I don't know what to do. So me and mom actually went to the mall and I went to Topanga Mall. I went to Northridge Mall. Like I was all over the place, went to all these little stores, finally wound up in Express. I know we hate Express, but for my children we hate and their body oh, types, that's right, we do. Okay. it works. Okay, uh-huh. that's what I'm trying to tell you. It works. So I got him this cute little blue suit because I was like, I really don't want you in black because everybody wears black. Like I kind of want you to wear like something that's going to have you standing out or whatever. So we got this really cute like blue suit, went home and it was long. And the waist was too big because he's his mother's child. And Mm. these are the exact problems I have. (laughs) I have to get almost every pair of my pants taken in at the waist and hemmed because I'm short and I have a little waist. We go to the cleaners. Mind, we use these cleaners all the time. I went there. They close at 7. I think I was there at like 5, 530 maybe. I said, listen. (laughs) I don't do this to you guys. I almost never do this. Actually, I never do. I drop these clothes off. You tell me when it's available and I'll pick it up whenever you say. Like, I'm never in a rush. I said, my baby got prom tomorrow. Can you hem this and take it in right here? Oh. By tomorrow at five. Did they do it? When I tell you, she was like, no problem. Oh. She was like, no problem at all. Like, don't even worry about it. Let's do it. Yada, yada, yada. She had it ready by noon. Oh, nice. Yep. By the time... I, before Isaiah got out of school on Friday, it was ready. It was ready. That's amazing. I was like that, and it fits so good. And I wanted him to have like that kind of European look with the no socks. Oh, and so it was raised just a little bit so you could see his little ankles and stuff. It was just adorable. It was just really, really. I was just like, this is what life is made of. Okay, I love this stuff. So he was just really sweet. He was so like cool. He was trying to be cool. Me and Kev was crying. Um, but he didn't drive, which was nice. Yeah. Uh, Vinny drove. Plus, he can't be out late with his like um, the kind of license. He yeah, has? it's oh. a full license, but it's like the you you got a baby license. Oh, interesting. So he can't have like um, people in his car after a certain time. How long does that be in place? I think it's like six months. Oh, got it. Yeah, interesting. And then he can't provisional. Thank you. It's called a provisional license. And then he can't drive has a certain time himself he can't be out like after 11 or 12 o'clock something like that what Um, happens if that happens if you're caught obviously doing it do you know what happens i'm assuming you don't get a ticket but i don't know if they strip you or or i don't know i don't know Uh, that's good you know we don't play no games anyway just don't be out late yeah just bring your butt home but it made it easy Vinny drove because that was my other thing he was like i really want to go with my friends and i was like this sounds like a headline (laughs) yeah because all y'all gonna be on the car together yeah, that's and it's prom. Yeah, like yeah. immediately, I was like, I don't know if I can function thinking about you being out with your. And the, the I know, and literally, I'm telling you, you guys are safe. I know, and so responsible, and you drive so well. But no, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like the problem really is stressed out. You're when you're that young, you just don't even know what exactly. you don't know. You exactly. don't even realize. I this is really random, but I read a tweet the other day that was talking about the literal purpose of the front. The frontal lobe. Frontal lobe yeah. is to like make decisions uh, with the ability to recognize the impact like longer term mm. of those decisions. And because the frontal lobe doesn't even develop, develop until like, like 20 something mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. So when you're that young, you don't even have the ability That's to so good, Mel. because it naturally comes with experience yeah. and whatever, like life. Yeah. And so at that age, you absolutely are doing the best you can. I'm doing the best I can with what I got. For the real. problem is you ain't got uh, it all. And so you don't you just don't even have the ability to. Not that he is not, you know, right, responsible. Right. 
He just mentally like yeah. does, does not have, have the capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, that was a random tangent. No, it was good information because <laughs> no, because no, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was like, I'm so sorry, but I I know it's like such a cool night, and that's what you guys want to be together. I can't like I I can't do yeah. this, and so um, Vinny ended up taking him, and it worked out really really well. So anyway, it was fun. It was a busy week. We are tired. Kev did the Netflix is a joke show last oh, yeah, night, yeah, that's right. which was we a went. lot of fun. Um, he got to sing with Fred Hammond as that that actually is not quite exactly how really it, random yeah how do you say it like he did get to sing with him but it wasn't like it wasn't like he was a the planned host. yeah thing he was just he wasn't even the host because nephew tommy was the oh host. that's right he was like the musical interlude correct i think that's actually <laughs> accurate okay okay i think he was more like the musical interlude and of course part of kev is churchy like that is actually like that's just our person like not even our yeah personality but also like it's embedded in the dna of like who we are yeah and so if fred hammond's behind you and there's a band you're singing blessed yes like it's duh because why would you not yeah so he gets up there uh, I wasn't. I ate Sai. Um, Sai said, were you drunk? I wasn't. I did eat a little bit of food. <laughs> um, so Kev gets up and starts singing, bless. Why Fred Hammett came in sounding just like he the record. He sounded just like the record. It was like, really Did dope. the ad libs. Yeah, yeah. It and was really cool. sounded like the record. We were backstage, me, Mel, Greg, Rich, backstage losing our minds yeah because kev is singing fred hammett with fred backing him up with a band yeah i have the video we were in the backstage but i have the video but uh, you know when you're so excited you scream so you miss I, there's a video of me watching your commercial where i miss <laughs> your what you yes. say because i'm screaming it's that i still might post it because it's just us in the background screaming and you can't even hear uh, Kevin, Kurt, uh, Fred, but it's worth a watch. It is. Send it to me. I'll send it to Aubrey to add. Wait, is someone dream. recording? This? I know we need to be out there. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is a top dream. We need to be out there. I need this. That's what I'm talking about, Fred. And Fred. <laughs> 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 okay yeah it's a lot of it was really cool it was a great time so anyway yeah that was long story short for me um before i get into what i want to talk about for long story short i want to talk about and thank uh again one of our sponsors which is better help uh melissa just went through getting ready for Isaiah to go to prom and all of the stress that comes with him having a driver's license. We were talking about how stress, how dirty my house is, amen, and how that affects your ability to even function. And sometimes being able to talk through that kind of stuff with somebody can be helpful. Uh, we all carry around different stressors, big and small. And when we keep them bottled up, it can start to affect us negatively. Amen. To, that's the truth, ain't it? Therapy is a safe space to get things off of your chest and to figure out how to work through whatever's weighing you down. Um, I have a lot weighing me down and I want to talk to somebody. Amen. <laughs> I enjoy therapy, though, um, as... You can go in very heavy, mm -hmm. and even though you may ball your eyes out, okay, <laughs> and you may think you're going to leave heavier than you came, but many times you leave lighter yes. than, than you came, and that is uh, always the goal, and that's why I think uh, therapy uh, is so beneficial, um, and companies like BetterHelp can help kind of help manage and get you through that point. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash GJ today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash GJ. GJ. Um, it'll really help us. So if you're thinking about going to therapy, use BetterHelp and use our code 
and then tell us about it. Maybe you leave a pop the trunk and tell us your experience with it, okay? I'm with tell it. Them, tell us how you don't want to pop the trunk anymore because you talked about it with your therapist using you better You let help. it out. Yes, do that. Amen. Um, but I just started with, the, sorry, I just started with my life coach. Oh, I was yeah. just telling Mel last night and like she's like a life coach, career coach. I don't exactly know how to describe her but she does have a background like legitimate background in therapy like mm. she's been professionally trained and then transitioned to life coach career coaching i have really enjoyed her like if you've noticed on my tiktok i was just telling mel this last night if you've noticed on my tiktok on my instagram mm -hmm. like the different content i've been pushing out it is solely and I actually will give her the credit because of the life coach she's mm. been encouraging me to go I told you guys this that I struggle with execution and so she's been encouraging me to go from um, a lot of the ideas that I have to execution much faster mm -hmm. so that I can experience that nothing bad happened yeah <laughs> so I can like stop thinking myself out of you know, this is why I can't do it. This is da, da 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 da. So she's been really encouraging me to like, if you think it, do it. If you think it, do, do it. it. Just yeah. you know, essentially just do it. Yeah. And Come so on, Nike. one, yeah, it was very <laughs> Nike. One of the ladies actually, I ended up deleting the comment, but she ended. She commented and was like, "I feel like you're like perpetrating your own personality or something like that." Yeah, and that's how I looked, and I and I literally I wanted to screenshot it to my therapist because I was like, "This is what I'm talking yeah. about." Like showing this much of me if people aren't used to it oh it God. may feel like a, like it ends up feeling like a rejection mm -hmm. and she was saying that a lot of times fear that we have is rooted in rejection and abandonment like when uh, it all funnels down uh -huh, uh -huh. it funnels to either rejection or abandonment and I was like oh my god then then that it's rejection that I'm afraid of like there's so many other things that yeah. you can like layer perfectionism and this and there's so many other layers but at the end of the day it is a fear of I'm going to put myself out there and people are are going to reject, reject. that Absolutely. that's ultimately the fear and so when the comment came up I tap danced uh -huh. on that it was uh -huh. like oh no like people aren't liking what I'm putting out and she's thinking I'm being fake or I'm trying to be yes. someone that I'm not and oh, really man. I'm just not showing all of me all of that to say I commented and I was like yes my you know my therapist has been encouraging me yada 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 people kind of jumped in and I always appreciate when people are like girl we got your back yeah, like yeah. don't be coming up here I always appreciate that but then it becomes a distraction mm -hmm. in your comment section because yeah. then all of a sudden everyone is, is doing that, that or people the silent lookers like uh -huh. and move on yeah. and I was like you know what I don't have to subject myself delete to this. it I'm gonna delete this delete it so if you want to leave a comment that's very encouraging you like oh, it ha 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 laugh yes. we'll have a good time but we, none of us have to focus our energy Absolutely. on someone that comes in as a naysayer. We, yeah. You don't. I don't owe you, which is so odd because I think for a long time I did feel like that. Mm -hmm. I felt like I owed people the right to like. This is just yes. criticism. Yes. If you can't take criticism, oh, I don't actually owe you the right to give me criticism. Nope. I, I actually do not owe that to you, and so I'm so appreciative. That that you gave me this construct that's the word constructive criticism. I don't want to hear it. Amen. So any issues that I do have, I actually oh, have a therapist my. that I can talk to about. Yes. But uh, it's public. I can say screenshot it and send it in your group chat. You can say it and I can delete it. And both of those things can coexist so and that's be true. Fine. Yeah. And I I actually have been struggling with that th that exact thing for the last like two weeks. Mm. I've been like. Well, a while ago, I leaned into the fact that I delete and block, okay? I start videos with, I'm not a lawyer, but, and if your comment is then, as soon as you say, I'm not a lawyer, but I scroll, I block you. Yeah. <laughs> because if if that is, if you hear that and you don't want to see my content, I don't know why you didn't why block we're me here. first. Yeah. Yes. Let me help you yes. help me. Blocked. I don't want you to even see my content. Yeah. Right. And if you post it, I'm going to delete your comment. I am go boy. I've been on a block and delete spree. I don't care. I don't care. So I have been blocking and deleting. I uh, was on my uh, YouTube is out of control as well. People will comment and say all of the things and all of that. I am trying to balance it because I recognize that I am. I am not a. I don't know it all. Right. I don't want to come across as a know it all. Right. I appreciate constructive criticism. I appreciate things that can be helpful to me. I'm also not dumb, right? And I hate when people come at me. Yes, content creation may be new to me. Storytelling is not right. I've been in content. 
for my entire career. career. So commenting and reminding me of how new and fresh right. and you're you're blooming and you're as if I haven't worked for the biggest streaming company. Quite literally. Quite literally in the world. Literally. And made shows. Literally. Not the fake literally. No. The real literally. Literally. <laughs> so coming at me as if something that I did content wise. Wasn't Professionally. In, yes. Was not intentional. Or as if I didn't. Because it, it, Again, I don't mind constructive criticism. Don't come at me as if I'm dumb. Right. Or that I'm like completely new to this. Right. I'm not. I appreciate as an audience, I really, Mel, maybe that's fine. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, to for act sure. as if I didn't think about something will get you blocked. Yeah. And this is the other thing. People, there are people on the Patreon or people that follow us. They'll ha 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 like da 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 and then come in with constructive criticism yes. on 17 yes. posts like that i know y'all yes y'all know me yes i could hear this yes who are you yes who are you yes do do you even follow me do you even engage Girl. do you even got something nice to say ever oh you only want to come in with the constructive criticism go goodbye. with god crispy goodbye go with god crispy and i don't even like to be on that inner i don't want to flex in that way but you sometimes you do but because I can. sometimes you have to remind yourself. Yes. Because sometimes you have to remind yes. and that's the part of like this kind of openness that sometimes is scary is that you do feel like well it, it is constructive or maybe yes. or if you tap dance on this insecurity yeah. then that rings true. Yes. And so it's all you folk 37 comments are all good. Yes. And the one, and the one tap dance loud and that's the only thing that you hear yeah, that's the yeah. only thing that you regurgitate yeah. in your mind it's the only thing that yeah. you remember and sometimes like that's the other thing about like the block and the delete you can let it go. Oh my gosh! As soon as it's gone, I, I forget about yeah, it. Yeah, you I can let it go. That happens. There is. It lets you have a better day. It, it really does. It is. There it's is. Good. It, 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 there is therapy. <laughs> Block and delete for real. There is. There is. Um, self help. Yes. Okay. The self care. It really is. There is self-care yeah. in the block. And the delete. Child. And the delete. Oh you my. do not owe people anything. Anything that you are not a target no. that people can just walk by and willy-nilly throw darts at Absolutely. you. And you just have to sit there and take it. Absolutely not. You don't. And just because you posted on the internet, people love to say, well, you posted it. I have the right. And if that is what you believe, I have the right to delete you. Because it goes both ways. Because it goes both ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The fact that you would go out of your way to negatively comment something when you could have scrolled says more about you than it does me. For real. My, con You know what happens when I'm watching, I'm scrolling TV and I land on something that I don't like? I change the channel. Sure enough. That's it. I don't go, I don't go Yelp it. I don't go blog it. <laughs> I don't, I don't write the, find the director and the showrunner. I don't write the network. You know what I do? Move on. Yeah, I do too. I encourage everyone listening to do the Come same. Come on, encourage. <laughs> <laughs> because why else? What, all right, what are you going through? Um, unless you are Kendrick and Drake, because they don't move on at all. <laughs> well, they have time. <laughs> you actually need to have the money they have to actually afford to be as petty as Listen! they are. To have the time that they have, you actually need to be to have money. Because they don't have nothing better to do. They literally, Kendrick is, I literally will be here all day. Oh, my. Tell us what happened for the people that are unaware. I don't even know. <laughs> what happened? Honestly, I don't either. I really don't. How did we I, get like, here? How did it start? It started. In like 2011. With, <laughs> well, yes. But in the last week, it feels like it's, it, I don't even know. But there was a song, I think, called Like That. I think that was the first one. What Is it? it? I, I'm about to literally look it was up. The, I have a link because I was like, let me refresh my memory as to... What the hell happened here? Hold, where did my link go? Uh, oh, here we go. So, yeah, like that by Future yes. Metro Boomin and Kendrick Lamar released March twenty second, two thousand twenty four. It has. <laughs> so the song was released, and Future Metro and Kendrick are apparently mad at Drake, which is a big deal because Drake and Future 
were bromances. They was bros. Oh. They was besties. I think Drake is really hurt about that. About the we losing got some of inside the scoop that said he. I think he is for real. Yeah, or I, like he's sensitive. Yeah, I think that he is really affected by the loss of that. All friendship. of this is alleged. Amen. Everything in this section is alleged. Whether I've, we're reading it, we actually don't know nothing. Yes, it's all alleged yeah well they, i mean Dim <laughs> diamonds dancing is they had a whole album together drake okay. and future which okay. was a great album by the way okay hits um so i think that this friendship breakup we've talked about friendship breaks up oh yeah that's this, tough it's tough and i think um for men amen it can be extremely tough even though they won't uh, for express sure. it the same way women for sure. sometimes can or mm -hmm. will but it affects them and i think that's what's happening so anyway they had this like that album and for some reason... Oh, is that why it's called Like That? Because that album was called Like This? Who was called Like This? What album? Oh, what was the Drake and Future album called? It wasn't called Like This? No. Oh, disregard. It uh, don't matter. Hold on. That was, What a time to be alive. What a time. Okay. To be alive. I don't remember none of this. You and yours with me and mine. No? Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, it, was, it was a great album. Okay. Uh, regardless, they are having their breakup. That song came out and they were going after Drake. Okay. Somehow, it became Kendrick and Drake specifically. Yes. Future and Metro. I mean, Metro was going off the other day. Metro is the producer. Okay. Beat maker. Metro was going off on Twitter the other day. But it has now morphed into specifically Kendrick and Drake. How did J. Cole enter? J. Cole joined in on, J see, this is where I start getting confused <laughs> because J. Cole, he was going after Kendrick. So he must have sided with Drake. Yeah, he was going after Kendrick. Okay. He was, and so somebody, I read an article and it said that somebody told J. Cole, you might want to shut up. I'm going to tell you, J. You J. might Cole, not want to do this. I, this is, okay, this is my truth, right? <laughs> J. Cole said... I gotta do what's right for me, Lucius. <laughs> I gotta. What is it? I gotta. I gotta protect me, Lucius. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, that girl said, Taraji. Yes. That's what J. Cole that, absolutely. said. Absolutely. Uh, also, let me let me say this. I don't know what's happening. So this section of the podcast, if you are looking for an accurate, clear timeline about what happened, this ain't it. You got to go read an article, maybe watch Here's the Thing. You got to put me first. They are going to know. Correct. I'm going to skip because I don't I don't know what happened. What I want to talk about. Go straight to it then. Okay. <laughs> what I want to talk about is Drake took a long time to respond to Kendrick's response. Yes. And then Kendrick posted two <laughs> seconds later his response and i said well hold on well hold on that's that's giving you knew what he was gonna say correct okay and which sucks because drake's out a uh, drake drake's response was actually it was really good it was actually good Yo, it was really good but did you hear uh tony baker last night uh, -uh. so we were talking i don't know where you were then tony baker because or no it was another guy anyway don't matter Last night, I was like, Drake's response was good, yeah. right? And he alleged that Kendrick, the Messiah person, was uh, domestic violence yes. against his... Fiance. Okay, I don't know what her position is in you his life. You about to say what I said? What? Keep going. No, the guy said, because we were all like, why didn't this pick up as a story? Why wasn't this like news? Whatever. The dude said last night that uh, Kendrick went on an interview years ago. I said that. You said it too? I also said it at your house. Girl, I don't. Why Why you? I don't remember this. Because Be you was drunk. <laughs> Melissa, I literally said that. They went on the, he went on the Breakfast Club interview because you then responded to me saying it. You was like, did y'all hear what they did? <laughs> you said, that's good. That's good. That's what you're talking about? I don't know. I don't okay, remember none what of happened this, is but say it. Kendrick went on the Breakfast Club interview and he was asked about these allegations that had circulated, been in the ether years uh, years before today. Yes. This has already been circulating. And what Kendrick said in that interview is, whoever started this rumor... I do remember this part. Oh, you do? I do remember this oh. part. I remember this part. Oh, that's not what you were going to say? <laughs> no. Oh, go ahead. What you was going to say? No, I was going to say that. I, don't, I wasn't going to say what you about to say that I said. I don't remember that, but now I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick said on the interview that whoever started that rumor should apologize to women who actually are victims of domestic violence because 
uh, this is a lie and the people who the women who are are constantly fighting and trying to have their voices heard and yet you are starting this rumor that's untrue and really diminishing right like the fight that these people really are having and trying to have their voices heard and their stories told and like to be to be really you know yeah. protected uh, in that way and so he was like whoever started this actually should apologize to the real victims of domestic violence and so it was like Number one, that's a good answer. It was a good answer. It was a good answer. It is a good answer. We don't know, obviously, if it's true, if it's not true. I don't know, but it was a good answer. And so that's why Drake's album, or I'm sorry, the allegations in it, yes. it didn't feel like it landed. As much. It landed for me because that was news. Right. I didn't know any of that. So I was like, oh, nobody cares about, I'm so confused why nobody cares about this domestic yeah. violence. Like, I feel like we everyone should be talking about it more. But apparently, y'all had new. Some and people I, did. And I had didn't. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. then fast forward. Okay, so then Kendrick's response to Drake, and this is this is where I really <laughs> tapped in, okay? I have been like, in my opinion, before this point, the Chris Brown and, and Quavo beef was oh. better than Kendrick and Drake. A1. I was like, the, Chris Brown is crazy! Yeah. He's crazy! Yeah. And then Kendrick released a love letter <laughs> to Drake's <laughs> the entire family. Meet the Grams. Started with his son, Dear Adonis. I'm willing to be your mentor. Your daddy's trash. I'm sorry he's your daddy. <laughs> I can step in if you need me. Correct. I'm available at the Boys and Girls Club. I'm going to teach you not to let grown men pee on your leg. Which I didn't know was based in the story. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Why would you? And then he went to Sandra, dear Sandra. You raised a terrible person. That's your son. That's terrible. That's sad. And then he went to his daddy. Oh, you trash. Dear Dennis. And you probably, and the, probably the reason why Drake don't claim his daughter is because he didn't, your daddy didn't claim him. First of all, a daughter. I know. It was, I just, and then it was like at 11 o'clock at night. It was just. A lot. It was a lot. But also, it literally inspired in me, like, I want to hate somebody so much that I write a letter to everybody in their family about them. What a time. What? How petty. You have to be really, really pissed. I told Kevin them, Mel Gray, I said, I think that, what's his name? Kendrick's origin story is syndromes from The Incredible. <laughs> Because remember how, like, enamored Syndrome was with Mr. Incredible? And then when Mr. Incredible, like, disregarded him, he became, like, obsessed with, with him, him and destroying yeah. him. That's the energy Kendrick gives because I don't hate nobody this much. I know. I don't. I don't have the time. This man knew peen incidents, pedophilia, his address, <laughs> his friends. Who has the time? Listen. For someone you hate. You got to really that made a syndrome. hate somebody to the point it turns into love. <laughs> yes. I'm so, I hate you so much, I have to know everything about Literally. you. Literally. Like, that is a lot. Extreme. So then the world is turned upside down and they forget about Drake because Kendrick has released this whole thing. And then Drake finally responds the over 24 day. hours later and acts as if he fed the information to Kendrick. Listen, if I fed you information about you about me and knew you were going to release it, I would have. Kendrick, Wait, Mel, Drake we forgot that he released another song. He did. Yeah, he released "Meet the Graham." Yep, and then he released. Um, oh, he sure did. Yeah. The out, yes. Yes. He did. And remember, he said alleged he had his uh, Ozempic. Pills. He had the Ozempic uh, prescription. Yes. He had the. I don't understand these gloves. Somebody said it's a glove he uses to dry. It's like a personal glove. And that's why he was saying there's but folks in your the camp. M, I thought it was Maybach music. I don't know. I I'm, don't know. But this is what's important about that song. Not because like all, us. That's what it is. Not, not like us. That's it. That chorus was hitting. So yes, it was. I was because singing. this is the important part of this song. We were literally talking. And I said, y'all, I feel like Drake finna go to jail because I feel like Kendrick is alleging that he's like a pedophile. Uh -huh. On the next song that said, you a pedophile. <laughs> yes. And it you got... should joy. <laughs> joy. <laughs> you know when it be like, yes. the DJ be like, scrambles. <laughs> I was like, and, and this is the best part. Uh, you try to strike a chord, but you hit a, a minor. minor. <laughs> That was 
That was insane. <laughs> a minor is insane. A minor is insane. So Why would you say that? Why would you say? Oh, my God. He said, I'm about to make it clear. Because some of y'all got questions still about what I'm saying. Listen, Kendrick said 35 different ways this man like children. You like children. You like kids under age. If they can't drive, you probably like them. If they can't vote, you probably like them. <laughs> if they have teen, you probably like them. Like, <laughs> sir. Listen, you know what I was struggling with is that if I was, I, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper, but no, I could never be a rapper. I could also never be in a beef because I feel like I would be Kendrick. I don't, you know, I I, I've never been the person to play fight. Because if you hit me, I'm I'm hitting you back with the intention to hurt you. For real. I don't want, I don't play like that. Don't, don't, I don't play. So if you write a song and you like, ha, 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 Mel so dumb. Now I got to call your mom dumb and your brother and your sister, your whole family. I got to call you broke. I got to like, I don't. There's are there lines are there boundaries I don't know those we can't play like that and I'm so now I'm Kendrick now I'm going really a minor like I have to I'm going to spend all done. of my time to do what he did because in the beginning he was being very clever yeah it was like oh what that mean oh I need to do research oh what's the history of this this last one he said I'm done talking in yes, rap yes. you're a pedophile you should be in jail you're a terrible person your mama's terrible <laughs> your daddy's terrible <laughs> tell him about your daughter <laughs> bbl drake with the fake ads you went to the doctor here's a doctor's address I, and nothing's rhyming anymore <laughs> nothing's on the beat <laughs> you are just pissed <laughs> that would be me he just went to his notes section yes. yeah and his hair is terrible and he never matches and his socks be green <laughs> what it don't be nothing clever no subliminals you know you usually it'd be like canadian man from the six kendrick was like hey drake i hear Aubrey. you like young girls <laughs> it was like no so no double entendre huh nothing. no you you don't you don't want to be creative at all okay all right oh my it god was, it was great ov oh uh -huh. oh Oh, he said, step, 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 step. <laughs> Why are we doing a line dance to this song? He's saying, we don't want you saying no more. Why would you sing that? I don't. He was this is the wildest the whole time. Listen, that is wild. That man is wild. Absolutely. What's also wild <laughs> is trying to figure out what's for dinner every night. <laughs> Nobody has time for that. At all. <laughs> Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Fuel up for them with factors. No prep, no mess meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer. This is getting hot. Amen. Thanks to the menu of chef crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are listening to beefs or otherwise, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. Uh, make today the day you kickstart a new healthy routine. What are you waiting for? Four Factor Meals, they have 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every single week. You'll also you'll always have new flavors to explore. You can also crush your wellness goals this May with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious from breakfast to dessert. Hey Amen. We love a low range. Stay fueled up with easy, nutritious options. Head to factormeals.com slash GJ50. GJ50. And use code GJ50. GJ50. To get 50% off your first box plus 20% off of your next month. That's code GJ50 at factormeals.com slash GJ50 to get 50% off of your first box plus 20% off of your next month while your subscription is active. If you are trying to make things easier for your life, okay, summer's coming, you know, kids be out of school, you're trying sure to figure enough. out how to do this, try Factor and use our code and get 50% uh, off. That's what we love. GJ50, make sure you use it. Uh, all right. Anything else you want to um, add on that? No oh, last thing. Oh, Drake then responded to it. Oh, and lied. Yeah. That's where you ended go, man. Yeah, so then Drake responded again um, and was just like, I'm not a pedophile. Stop saying that. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> and if I had been a pedophile, I would have been in jail already. Also, I'm really famous. And do you know any famous people who've ever been accused of this kind of stuff? Because who? Nobody does that if they're famous. <laughs> so 
And also, I'm done with this. <laughs> and I'm done with it. That's exactly how we end it. And now I'm done. So, so Kev said, is it Uchiwali or one mic? Because did yes. you feed them? Did you feed them the the yes. stuff to say about you? Or is or, he lying? Or is he lying? And just made it up. A- absolutely. Because it can't be both. It can't. And also, I would never feed somebody a lie That I'm about a pedophile? That I am a pedophile. That's not the lie. What? But. Exactly. Absolutely. That's why we know he didn't feed it. Exactly. He did. That didn't even have to be fed to him. No. It's on the internet. <laughs> Listen. All I mean, Kev, because now I say public her all the time. Me and all Kendrick did was make it publicer because we there have been rumors and rumors of wars about Drake's uh, indiscretions with young minors yes. for a long time. Alleged. But it was it was all alleged. Yes, all alleged rumor stuff for a long time. Kendrick just made it publicer yes. because now everybody's like, wait, what? Because we had heard it, but yes. but now is this for real? Is this true? I told Mel, if I were Drake, I would be on my Karen. I would sue that man for defamation. Oh my. If it's not true. If it's not true. If it is not true, none of these things are true. And he absolutely 100% made this up. That's called slander. That I would sue him. Absolutely. Because this is not rap beef. You are affecting my career. Yes. You are uh, affecting my public perspe- uh, perception. You are affecting my potential money. I'm suing you. This ain't fu- the funny games are over. Would yeah. you say I don't? This ain't for play play no more. It's... I'm suing you. Yeah, yeah. He's. I mean, absolutely. We'll see what happens, child. And then what happens when you sue is a process process called discovery. So Drake Aubrey sue him. If that's what you want to do. So Mel can get y'all files. If that's what you want to do. Sue sue him so Mel can get y'all files. Because the next 10 months of Gin and Juice will be us reading the files. Oh, my God. Every day. We're on page five. Yes. (laughs) It would be great. Yeah. He's absolutely not going to sue. 100%. But he could. He literally could. Um, Anyway, it's been a great time. Waiting for Kendrick's next response. If there's going to be one, we'll see. Aubrey should have got on the phone. Absolutely. As soon as he hit that submit to the YouTube, he should get get his people on the phone. Yes. Because we need to figure out a way to end this with, uh, without the public. You know what's uh, also really interesting, then we can move on, is like, I'm going to sound like an old person, but that, that's, that's okay. Um, I was telling everybody at the house how I, not too long ago, I don't remember what beef inspired me to go through the like East Coast, West Coast beef and like really go listen to those songs that they had you know, the disc records that they made. The Tupac record oh, yeah, you said that it. he made <laughs> is one of the wildest things I've ever heard in my life. Say what he said, man. Oh, uh, how does he start? I always forget that. Uh he said, You you claim to be a mm-hmm. a pimp or something. You can't you claim to be a player, but uh your wife. Mm-hmm. I said, Well, I would come see you. I I would have to come see about you too. <laughs> I would have to come see about you. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? That's so... Di- like, the level of disrespect. That man hated him. Yes, he did. Like, it was real. Yes, he did. I mean, obviously, both of them are no longer here with us. But that is, if you are bored and just want to understand that, you could listen to that song alone and you would be like, I get it. I understand. I understand how it escalated. Because it is. And then if you ever watch the um, video footage from inside the casino. Mm. Listen, I went on a whole ramp, yeah. a whole rabbit hole. The footage from inside the casino. Okay, the night Tupac mm-hmm. was shot. Yeah, because they were at a fight, weren't they? They went to a fight yeah. and then there was a fight. Yeah. Inside the hotel. Oh. Watch it. I don't know if I want to. I went to. to it's, a, it's, it's so eerie to me sometimes. It's really kind of crazy. It's really kind of, I Matter of fact, you know why I started d- uh, digging into it? It's because uh, the man who is accused of killing Tupac, I think, is in jail, right? It's Tupac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy got locked up, right? The um, Vegas police arrested him last year. I think I did a yeah, video yeah, on yeah, it, yeah. actually. And so when that happened and I was reading through the documents, it inspired me to go through the... Um, uh, I was like, let me actually give myself a little more context. Yeah. I got it. I got the context. Wow. 
It was there. Um, anyway, Keefe, Keefe D. It's, it's Keefe D. That's his name, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I have a video at some point. And I, it's been a long time, so I forgot the details. However, I remember going through that rabbit hole. Uh, okay, moving on. Okay, we got about five minutes. We uh, sure do. So do you just want to do like one pop the trunk, or do you want to give your pop the trunk? I want to give mine. Okay, yeah, I want to give one it. of mine. Um I want to pop the trunk. We talk. I think we've popped the trunk on like passwords before, where you have to like have every letter of the alphabet plus every single number created and all of the symbols, uh, which is a pop the trunk in and of itself. But I want to pop the trunk on being signed out of applications and then needing to remember that. Oh yeah. I, I don't. Why would I, I? I understand safety and I appreciate that, but don't sign me out of nothing. I've I agree. been signed out of Starbucks for about a, a week, <laughs> and I don't. Why I'm not signing back in. I'm not doing that. I have facial recognition. My face don't change. So, but they, sometimes they'll sign you out and then to reactivate your facial ac recognition, you have to like enter your password and then it's like, okay, facial recognition is back again. What, I want a facial recognition without- because that's safer than the password, it's to my be honest. Face. It's my face. I don't want to, I don't, I hate having to re-sign into stuff. Can I just add that it be the applications, the apps like Starbucks like that have Starbucks. the longest- Password, they require so much. much secure stuff. I can get into my bank with five words. Oh my god! With five letters, a capital letter, and a symbol. Yes. Starbucks be like, first of all, it needs to be ten, ten characters. Yes. Include three letters, one symbol, and two capitals. For wait for a latte, and it can't be any of the passwords that you've chosen for the last ten times. Yes, girl, for a latte. If someone <laughs> hacked my Starbucks account and used every point that I have, that's okay. There's no world in which I'm frustrated and mad and angry no. and just so. There's no world. I might say, you should have hacked my bank. Why would you go I after know. the Starbucks? Literally, that's okay. I would have bought, I could have did a pay it forward for you for Enjoy that. Enjoy the coffee. Enjoy the coffee. I don't, Starbucks. Starbucks? Oh my gosh, I hate it. I, I'm not signing. I'm like, now I'm just being defiant. I don't want to because it'd be like, forgot your password. I don't even want to go through that process. Yes. I uh, Yes, I forgot my password. I ain't forgot my face. <laughs> my face is the same. Let me use my face. Why? I hate being signed out of... Out Stop signing me out of stuff. Leave me signed in. I agree. If somebody steals it, that'll be my problem. I'll mm -hmm. pop the trunk on that later. Today, let me use my face. Yeah, I'm, I don't... I don't understand why it's necessary. It's We're going to add one more random pop the trunk yes. to this, and that is Beyonce. Okay. Because sure. where she be going? I feel like Beyonce gets dressed to go to Instagram. Yes. Where is she going? Why don't no paparazzi pick up? There's never like Beyonce at Vanity Fair. Yes. Beyonce at XYZ <laughs> event. Nobody be where Beyonce is going. And that girl... Also, what does she have on? The last picture said she had on well, panties. Out. It wasn't even she. It was a thong. And it was a thong. Was out. You're exactly right. It was just like, and she just turned around for it. Like, hey, here's my cheeks. Where, where does she be going? Because why is no one else invited? Why? Why? I thought you were about to say why is no one ready? Why is no yes. one? Why? I just want to understand that if Beyonce could please share with us. And lately, I know the album just dropped, but lately I feel like she's been like she's outside. She is. She's never outside. She's about. I, so people are saying rumors that she's about to show up to the Met Gala tonight and watch it be a whole cowboy themed outfit. She yeah, gonna I'm be sure like, I don't, I don't really care what your theme is. My theme is Cowboy Carter. And she's so in. She finna have a, a cowboy hat and some ass out. I know they're called chaps. I don't really care about them. I call them <laughs> ass outs. <laughs> and you should, and you should. That's what they're called. Welcome. This has been added to the glossary <laughs> yes. of gin and juice. Yes. That's what I call if them. If you're a juice, they're called butt outs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> ass out to butt outs. Take your pick. She finna wear that to the Met Gala tonight. It's gonna be great. I don't. She don't know what she's doing. She be listen. She's Beyonce though, so who Li gonna stop her? I think she literally lives in like her own world and universe. Cause that woman had these two fingers with American flag <laughs> <laughs> decorated nails, and I literally, I promise you, I want to sit down with her and be like, T "Tell me about your creative process. <laughs> like what." What inspires you? How do you get here? Someone help me. Man. I'm waiting for her rap album. Please let it be so. Sometimes when I watch, uh, I mean, she don't do interviews. Actually, this happens when I just watch interviews in general of people. I'm like, I've, I don't remember who said this, but like 
someone who is constantly interviewed was commenting that questions can get stale because a lot of mm -hmm. people will ask, right? Like you're doing a magazine or mm -hmm. an article or whatever, mm -hmm. and they ask the same questions. So I always love when a, a question is asked that is like wild or um, an answer is given that as wild, like the Rihanna one recently. Yeah. Like that was always crazy. Um, and so sometimes... I think about if I ever got the opportunity to talk to Beyonce, like, what's my question that would make me like stand out from the rest? OK, what is it? Um, I feel like I would ask her uh, like a question about her hair, but not I would be like, I don't know. I don't know. I have to actually think of a. I don't know. I just I used to say if I ever met her, I would like snatch a piece of her weave out and run <laughs> just to like be like I have her hair. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. You don't know. Yet. <laughs> you know why I could not do this? If I only had one opportunity, I would not ask it. I would ask questions where she would be like, you have to go now. Oh, because I would be like. So what really happened in the elevator? Oh, see, I wouldn't ask that. I but I would do it just like this. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. How are you? Girl, you look so hey, good girl. today. I just have one good little question I've been wanting to ask you. What happened in the elevator? <laughs> and she would be like, you could go. And I'm that sure she would. She list. would look at me like. Why are you even here? Yes. Why am I talking to you? You excuse me. Somebody come grab her. Uh, and on my way out, I would say, "Why you take Jay Z back? <laughs> Why you did he really cheat? I will, who is Becky? Who is Becky? Do you really not like Harry Hilson? Because I like her, and I need to know where I stand with her. I would be asking these questions on my way out. No, I feel like I would be like, "Do you use pads, tampons, or cups?" Like, oh, she's a cup girl. No, sure she's a she cup is. girl. But I just feel like, you know, like something like dumb. Like yeah. I feel like I would be asking, I don't know, something dumb. Uh, that would just make it like something people would be like, somebody take her mic. She shouldn't be asking. No, no, no. We would both have our mic no, taken no, no. apparently. She, we, we would have our mic. I, immediately I would be escorted off the premises. Hilarious. I would immediately be escorted off the premises. But I would come on this podcast. Y'all. She didn't answer none of my questions, but this is what I had asked her. <laughs> this what I asked her, though. This is what she said. This is what, what she said. The face pipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. All right. Anything else? Sorry, y'all. We have to go. Joey has a, um, a half day, and I need to go and pick his little stuff up. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Bye.